we're back. We're back. We're back. We're back. We're back. <laughs> we have a little um, camping weekend planned with some friends, so we're super psyched. Um, there's the friends. <laughs> so yeah, they the have a site, ones. a site right across from us. They have a little pop-up camper that's super cute. Uh, but today, I wanted to show everybody how the awning works. The Shady Boy awning, and it's pretty easy to set up. We don't use it a lot, but there's um, rain scheduled, so we're gonna put it up just in case we get rained on. So here we go. So we usually stand on the stool and there's a little cover. We just, we just flip up the cover like so. And I actually unsnapped it already. But, and then the whole thing rolls out. Um, it kind of will fall on you if you don't hold it. <laughs> but inside that roll are all the rods that you need to set it up basically. So you just unroll it, you get the rods ready. The tricky part about it is you have to remember which rods go in which sections. And you also have these little clip-on tie connectors to just take the uh, keep tension on it and keep the wiggle out, which we'll show you. The white rods are your three rods that connect to the top of the aluminum bar that essentially come out this way and hold the, the um, awning up. So these rubber tips are what make contact with the canopy itself so they don't rip it. The ones that don't have any rubber rings on the ends, there's three of them, you can see they're just a fiberglass rod. Yeah, the rubber rings, just to get a view of a rubber ring, is this little tiny rubber ring, but we don't want that one. So the ones without, there's three of them, they're the same length as the other ones. These are the three extension poles that go with these. So these three dark ones are going to make contact with the aluminum support. These will be on the ends to support the canopy. We forgot to mention that there's two 180 degree ones for the end because the canopy is actually much wider than the case for it. Obviously, we've supported the canopy against gravity, but we haven't kept it stable against it blowing up and, you know, winds doing this. So that's what these, these are just tensioners. So one, you can see there's these little clips right here. We're gonna hook one end onto there. And the other end, The end clips on too. And then you simply pull this to get tension on it. So here we are under the 
shady boy morning and we're super happy because it is raining so bad <laughs> So here I feel like is the true test of the awning. If you are in a, a very bad downpour, it does kind of uh, sag a little bit, but you know, it is keeping us dry. I mean, this rain is coming down great. <laughs> So I hope you liked our little tutorial on how to set up the Shady Boy awning. As always, like and subscribe and hit the bell and you'll know when we put up the next one. I don't know what the next one is going to be, but it's going to be By awesome. By 2030. <laughs> it's going to be awesome. All right. Bye.